Hello friends, today we will introduce you to the 2025 Hyundai Tucson. The Tucson undergoes a styling refresh for 2025, including updates to the SUV's grill, bumpers, and wheels, and stands out for its stylish looks as well as larger cabin and cargo space than most of its rivals. It is an SUV that will meet all your needs with features that you can use easily in and out of the city. It will perfect your driving experience with its smart technologies and comfortable and spacious interior. Now we will examine this vehicle under the headings of exterior design, interior, engine and performance, fuel economy, security, pricing, warranty, and release date. Before proceeding with the review, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more car reviews and express your opinions in the comments. If you are ready, let's get started. The 2025 Hyundai Tucson debuted with a complete overhaul that includes a redesigned front grille and bumpers, as well as new 19-inch wheels. Parametric jewel-concealed lights represent this generation's innovative design theme by seamlessly integrating into the grille when not in use. These improvements reflect Hyundai's parametric dynamic design language. Looking closely enough, there are a few differences in the front fascia. These hidden lights have a very different shape, with more square edges than before. The front bumper looks more aggressive than before, while the grille itself has new angular lines. The silver-trimmed roof adds some ruggedness to the SUV's appearance, but it remains primarily aimed at everyday family use rather than serious off-road adventures. Although no images of the rear unit have been released, significant changes are not expected. We expect the color options of the 2025 Hyundai Tucson to be compatible with the color options of the 2024 model, such as Phantom Black, Deep Sea, Shimmering Silver, and Intense Blue. Changes to the interior of the Hyundai Tucson are more noticeable than the revisions to the exterior. Inside, the Tucson's old infotainment system has been replaced with a new system that includes two screens sharing a rectangular housing on the dash. One acts as a digital instrument cluster, while the other handles entertainment, navigation, and other vehicle functions. The steering wheel has been replaced, the climate control panel has been updated, and the gear lever has been moved from the center console to the steering column. The center console now offers more space to store small items, and from the photos, we can see the wireless charging pad in front of the center armrest. The center vents now connect in a straight line to the right-hand outlet, as on the new Santa Fe. There is a new control interface for the ventilation system, with dials for adjusting the temperature on the left and right sides of the cabin. A set of hard buttons has also been added for the radio, and there's also a physical volume knob, electrically adjustable front seats, ventilated front seats, dual zone climate control, and a smart key will also be available. The base engine in the current Hyundai Tucson is expected to be available in the 2025 model. It's a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine that produces 187 horsepower and 178 lb-ft of torque, paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission. Front-wheel drive is standard and all-wheel drive is optional. The Tucson offers enough power for both urban driving and passing maneuvers, but lead-footed drivers will yearn for more power. The more powerful hybrid and plug-in hybrid models both feel quicker, but don't expect Toyota RAV4 prime-level acceleration from either of them. Although the Tucson is not a sports car, it handles well, its steering is quite sharp, and it is fun to drive. The most outgoing aspect of the Tucson's driving attitude is how quiet and elegant it feels when cruising. It is these features that give the SUV a feeling of luxury that is unmatched in this class. When it comes to fuel economy, the EPA estimates the Tucson should deliver as high as 25 miyamiras in the city and 32 miyamiras on the highway with front-wheel drive. For safety, the 2025 Tucson benefits from the Hyundai SmartSense Safety Suite. Advanced driver assistance features such as intelligent cruise control, forward collision avoidance, and lane-keeping assist are also included. There are also features like automatic emergency braking and blind spot monitoring to help drivers stay safe. The price of the new Tucson ranges from $21,059 to $26,136 for the gasoline 1.6 turbo model and $22,898 to $27,975 for the diesel 2 model. For the 1.6 turbo hybrid model, 
the price of the hybrid model after tax advantages varies between $24,418 and $29,320. In the compact SUV market, the Tucson stands out as the only competitor that offers warranty coverage comparable to its corporate counterpart, the Kia Sportage. However, Hyundai maintains its edge over Kia with its comprehensive free scheduled maintenance program. The Tucson's warranty package includes a 10-year or 100,000-mile limited warranty on the powertrain, a 5-year or 60,000-mile limited warranty, and a 3-year or 36,000-mile free. The Hyundai Tucson, planned to be first launched in Europe in early 2024, is expected to reach the U.S. market in the middle of the next year, possibly appearing as a 2025 model. In conclusion, the 2025 Hyundai Tucson stands out as one of the best competitors in the SUV market with its renewed design, advanced features, and impressive performance. From its stylish exterior to its spacious interior, this vehicle offers comfort, convenience, and safety for all your driving needs. Thank you for tuning in to learn more about the 2025 Hyundai Tucson. If you like this review and want to see more car reviews like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for more exciting content. See you in the next video. Goodbye.